Thanks for staying with us. Every Wednesday, we introduce the Kenosha of the Week. Thanks to our partners at Kenosha.com. People of all ages earn the title of Kenosha of the Week through good deeds that they do in their community. And this week, we are interviewing 13-year-old Etta Tid, who has overcome a list of obstacles that we'll talk about during this interview. And of course, we appreciate you joining us today. Good to see you. Etta, you are Miss Southport Outstanding Teen, and you are competing for the title of Miss Outstanding Teen. What does this kind of recognition just mean to you, and how have you been preparing for the title? I've been preparing by doing mock interviews with some of the old um, Miss Wisconsin Outstanding Teens and just going around the community and helping out. And the opportunity be, to be able to become Miss Wisconsin's Outstanding Teen would be amazing and would allow me to um, reach so many more people. Is this something you always wanted to do? Yes, it's something I always wanted to do since I was little. And um, my friend won Miss Kenosha, and we went to state um, to watch her. And I was entered into Crown Camp as just like a little thing to do. And I'm like, wow, these girls are so smart, so cool, so amazing. And I went back the next year to do Crown Camp, and now here I am. Mm, Etta, I am in awe of your just everything that you have gone through in your strength. Although you're only 13 years old, you had some massive obstacles to overcome with two open heart surgeries and even surviving a failed pacemaker back when you were seven. Oh, my goodness. It's just incredible to see you striving despite experiencing such scary health issues. I want to ask you this. What kept you staying positive through all of this? Um, my family, my friends, they were always there me but most importantly dance and theater that was definitely something that um was a very big outlet for me because i couldn't do sports and even in my lowest time i was able to be singing and dancing and doing um musical theater and it's just something that i continue to do in my life today yeah and just so we know as far as your um anything health wise how do you feel day to day i feel great okay. but there are definitely some times when i'm i need to like step back and breathe or like go to the nurse because I'm not feeling well, but I'm normally pretty good. Hmm. Wow. And you've developed your own platform, Limitless, overcoming barriers to be your best self with everyone. Can you talk to us a little bit about that and the message that you hope to share with everyone? So Limitless was created by me and my mom. We were in the car one day and we were thinking of different things we could do for my social impact initiative since I would be competing the next year. And she goes, because I know I wanted it to be something about my heart condition and anxiety, because those are definitely big things that I've faced in my life. And I definitely wanted to help others face things they overcame. So we came up with Limitless, and I decided I want it to be um, to help others overcome their barriers. And it's um, a platform to help people find their barriers, create a plan, find their support people, and be able to overcome that barrier, whether it be little or small, mm -hmm. little or big. Have you heard from just some of the people your age? What are they saying about all of what you're doing? Um, so definitely some of my friends are like, you're doing a beauty pageant and I have to be like, oh, no, I'm not. It's a scholarship um, competition and I'm able to earn scholarship dollars while doing something I love and I'm able to reach so many people with it. But then the other day I was at an appearance and someone from my class who I thought would be like, OK, that's a little weird, came up to me and started talking to me and was actually really cool about it. So it definitely varies, but most people are pretty supportive once they hear my message. Yeah, I love that. And Etta, before we go, at only 13 years old, we talked about this just a little bit. You're now fully dependent on a pacemaker. How does that work with your day to day? I know you said you're feeling well, but how does that work? Mm -hmm. Um, so it just means like I might not have to have the computer. So like right up on my stomach when I'm working on work at home or um, I can't compete in some sports. So I have to sit out of gym. Um, I can't lift as many weights, but like I wouldn't want to lift weights. Honestly, that <laughs> is a lot of work. And but it's mostly just keeping what I know I can't do and what I can do and being able to find alternatives to things I can't do. Like when I can't do gym, I sit out and I work on homework, but then sometimes I'm like, I can't do this. Bunch of other people can't do this. So let's go work on another skill over here up in the balcony. Oh, I admire you so much. Last question. Any words of encouragement that you have for anyone else who may be going through any health issues themselves or even just kids your age who want to do what you're doing? 
Um, definitely focus on one step instead of the whole staircase. Mm -hmm. I saw this quote the other day and I'm like, yes, because I'm very much a like big picture person and that is very hard to do when you have anxiety and a health condition. So it's kind of just focusing on the next moment, focusing on the now that can help you stay in check and can sometimes help you feel better. Oh, I love it. This week's Kenosha of the Week, 13 year old edited. You're so well spoken. You're only 13. I love it. I hope you continue to stay well. Thank you so much for your time. And of course, congratulations. Thank you. All right. Well, if you would like to read Etta's full story, all you have to do is go to Kenosha.com. We'll also be publishing this full interview on our website. That's TMJ4.com.